Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. Learning Revit is quite simple if you understand the basic concepts the software is built on. This is episode 2 and today we are going to talk about 5 basic terms that are at the heart of learning Revit. And they are elements, categories, families, type and instance. Let's start with elements. Any 3D software has two types of elements, 3D and 2D. 3D elements in Revit are called model elements because we create a 3D model out of it. The 2D elements are called annotation elements. Now some annotation elements are visible in multiple views like levels, grids, reference planes. And some annotation elements are visible only in one view, which are view specific elements, dimensions, text, detail components. So elements are quite straightforward. We have 3D and 2D, model and annotation. Now these elements need to be further classified into recognizable names like walls, doors, windows, pipes, fixtures. And this is done in Revit through categories. Let's take an example. In this example, we have a few 3D elements and few 2D elements like these levels. If I select a wall, in the properties palette, I can see that the software already understands that this particular model element is categorized as walls. If I select this model element, I can see that it is categorized as windows. Let's go into view, visibility graphics. Here, this is a list of the categories for model elements. And these are the list of categories for annotation elements. Let's say I want to switch off all the walls in this particular view. So walls are 3D elements, so I will go into model elements, categories, and I'll look for the category called wall, and I'm going to switch it off. So you can see all walls are switched off. The keyboard shortcut to going to visibility graphics is VG. Let's go into walls again and switch them on. Now we have elements which are further classified as categories. Now let's take the example of the same wall that we chose. Was it a brick wall? Was it a stone wall? Was it a timber wall? How will the software understand that a timber wall is different from a brick wall? For that we have families. There are three types of families. System families, loadable, and in-place families. Now, system families are part of the system, so they are part of every single project that you open, like walls, roofs, floors, pipes, ducts. The loadable families are not part of the project. They are created outside in the family editor and loaded back into the project, which is why they're called loadable families, like doors, windows, furniture, plumbing fixtures, electrical fixtures. In-place families, however, are not created in a family editor outside of the project, so they are not loadable families. They do not come as part of the system, so they are not system families. In-place families are created inside a project using family editing tools in that particular location, in that particular context, which is why it is called in-place families. Now let's go back and take the example of the brick wall family. How does the software know that a 9-inch brick wall is different from a 4-inch brick wall? That's when we are going to talk about types and instances. Let's do this with an example. Here in this example, I have a room where I have two different styles of chairs available. Executive chairs and desk chairs. Surrounding the table, we have blue executive chairs. And along the wall, we have blue and black desk chairs. Now, because all the chairs are 3D elements, they are model elements and they are categorized as furniture. How many families do we have? Remember, whenever design changes, the family changes. Perhaps we have two different manufacturers for the executive and the desk chair. So we have two families of chairs in this example, executive and desk chairs. How many types of each family do we have here? We have blue and black desk chairs and one blue executive chair, which is why we have three types here. Blue executive chair type, blue desk chair type and black desk chair type. How many instances do we have? 
Now instance means that that individual item in that particular location. So how many instances do we have of the blue executive chair type? We have one, two, three, four, five, and six instances of blue executive chair. Similarly, we have five instances of blue desk chairs and four instances of black desk chairs. Let me give you a quiz. Here we have six structural columns because they're all 3D. They are model elements and they're categorized as structural columns. But how many families do we have? How many types and how many instances? You may pause this video here and take a moment to think about it. Are you ready for the answer? Here we go. When the design changes, the family changes. A square column has a different design than a round column, which is why we have two families, square and round. We have three instances of 12 inch by 12 inch square columns. So we have one type which is 12 inch by 12 inch and another type of square column which is 18 by 18 and we have two instances of those. We have one type of round column and one instance of that 15 inch round column. Did you get it right? Enough theory. Let's go back into Revit and check out how categories, family, type and instances, they all come together. In this example, I'm going to select this wall. It's a 3D element, so it belongs to model elements. Let's look at the properties palette. We know that it is categorized as walls. Under type selector, we can see that it is a wall, timber clad type of basic wall. So the gray highlighted line shows you the name of the family. So it says basic wall family and wall timber clad type. Let's right click, select all instances in entire project. The properties palette shows that there are eight instances of this wall timber clad type of basic wall. Let's go to the view control bar and isolate these elements from here. So these are the eight instances of wall timber clad basic wall family. Let's reset the appearance. Let's try it with a different example. I'm going to select this sofa. I know that this is a furniture category. From type selector, we'll know that this belongs to sofa Ottoman family, W600 by D600 type. Let's right click and select all instances in entire project. Or we can use a keyboard shortcut SA to identify how many instances do we have in the project. So here we can see that we have five instances of W600 by D600 type of sofa ottoman family here. If you would like to do this exercise on your screen, I have listed all the steps here. You may pause this video and try it out. In the next episode, I'm going to demonstrate the difference between the type and instance properties. I hope you enjoyed today's session and I'll see you in the next. Thank you for watching.